What's up, Toverers? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel of Kind Enthusiasts. Uh, before you get started, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and press the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Guys, today in front of us the Volkswagen Tygoon. Okay, first time on our YouTube channel. Okay, we've done the Kushak so many times, but we're going to be doing the Tygoon for the first time on our YouTube channel. All right. So basically, this is the Highline variant. All right, of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, the DRLs are different, of course. So you can make up from that only. Uh, let's right, just right. Uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm fumbling a lot. Okay, let's keep going so guys this is the highline variant of the Volkswagen Tycoon okay so what do we have over here we get yellow lights reflector based okay for the high and the low beam okay you get your fog lamps also these also finished in yellow all right uh, and uh, over here you get your big Volkswagen logo all right finished in chrome and black chrome uh, plating over here chrome plating over here as well again chrome is very tastefully used in this but over here I feel there is too much chrome okay so that is my opinion but you can let me know, know your thoughts in the comments all right get a panel black finish over here this is your skid plate over here finished in silver this is your vent this is your grill design over here this is your license plate area all right and uh, this is how the bonnet looks from the front with a lot of lines cuts and creases a lot of them okay and uh, this blue color is actually really looking good to me okay it's really looking good and uh, I, I don't know what do you guys think of this color guys 4k mein to aur bhi acha lag raha hai ye color so let me know your thoughts in the comments this blue color is really standing out okay but anyway let me know what do you guys think okay so let's keep going let's come to the side profile guys this is a chunky 205 60 r16 tires okay this is finished in a single tone alloy fox fog logo in the middle you get disc brakes only in the front not in the rear if i forgot to mention guys this is the one liter variant okay this is not the gt line variant this is the one liter variant we do not have the gt line available at the showroom today whenever it comes hum log wo bhi karenge all right so drum brakes over here and guys you don't get a request sensor in this vehicle uh, there are a lot of few knick knacks missing in this vehicle in terms of features so no request sensor that is to gone okay but uh, you get turn indicators on your orvms okay your orvms finished in blue this finished in matte black is the same car as the kushak of course uh same platform everything is same just the design elements and some certain things are different inside you get a roof rails which are functional you get your sh shark fin antenna in finished in piano black you also get your uh, rear wiper rear defogger high mounted stop lamp some uh, spoiler finish over here you get your connected led lamps in the rear which are you know which is sexy okay in my opinion which looks really good it suits this car the kushak missed out on this i don't know why didn't they didn't why didn't they do it in the kushak maybe they want to differentiate it but you know it should have been there in the kushak also because this looks really good okay tygoon finished in chrome tsi badging over here uh, and uh, of course you get your diffuser treatment over here with uh, your reflectors over here okay chrome plating over here same story you get one two uh three parking sensors in this vehicle with a rear parking camera as well no front parking sensor no front parking camera in this particular variant or in this car whatsoever okay uh opening the boot the boot space is mentioned over here you get a 60 40 split option of course and you get your boot lamp over here which is missing in the vertices okay you get a first kit, first aid kit over here you get your warning triangle over here you get a spare wheel over here okay now the spare wheel size is uh, one sec one sec one sec yeah it is 195 65 r15 steel rim of course you can see it very clearly okay you get a tooted over here no subwoofer is present in this vehicle okay you get a hook treatment one hook treatment two okay hook treatment three hook treatment four so four hooks in this car okay that's pretty neat you can hang a lot of stuff <laughs> okay so you get a parcel tray as well which is detachable and uh, Let's close the boot. It's been 30 seconds of ban nahi ho raha lights, guys. Oh, usme ban hota tha. So anyway, let's come over here. All right, and uh, as you can see, the side cladding is running from here to there, giving it a more chunky look. Okay, making it look a little bit more off-roadish, but it's not a four-wheel drive car. It's a front-wheel drive car, so don't take it off-roading. Okay, but it is, it has good amount of ground clearance, 188 millimeters, so it will save you from you know. the indian roads kagad does okay it will definitely do that because this car is very rugged very solid okay fun to drive as well okay let's uh, without any further ado let's get inside and see explore what do we have over here okay over here you get your driver functions for the window your obm function over here your lock and unlocking option over here is the same car guys same car same car kitni baar humne explore kiya isko 
Uh, but I thought I'd still bring it to you guys. So, closing it. Okay. So guys, when you talk about the 1.0 TSI engine, it is punchy, it is fun to drive, it is way better than the naturally aspirated engines that are offered in the market, which is in the Varna and uh, the Honda, okay, so, and, uh, you know, other vehicles such as the Creta and the Elevate, okay, it is punchy, it is faster than them, in, <laughs> of course, okay, so, of course, because it's turbocharged as well, okay, and it turns, it punches above its weight, alright, so it's pretty punchy, and if you're a city driver, this one liter TSI engine is perfect for you, okay, uh, it will, you know, give you a good amount of punch in the highway as well but of course not as good as the 1.5 tsi guys if you are an enthusiastic driver go for the 1.5 tsi that is my honest opinion okay that is a next level engine and that punches way above its weight okay it gives uh, uh, you know a competition to a lot of ma premium cars as well because it is that good okay so anyway let's keep exploring you don't get a digital screen over here you get a you know classic volkswagen layout over here uh, you get your tachometer and your speedometer placed over here uh, you get your cell phone connect option uh, and uh, one sec let's yeah here it is you get same same story as a slavia Slavia Valley display guys, no different in this uh, You can go check out my Slavia videos, It's a lot of Slavia videos are there already on my channel, you can go and check them out, okay. You get the same uh, display in this, the 10 inch unit, alright, which we've already explored in the waters, you can go and check that out as well. You get the same uh, uh, AC unit also, touchscreen, wala. you get your auto start off function over here, your hazard light function over here, okay. Horn is the same. There's no trumpet horn or dual tone horn. Let's switch off the lights. Let's not <laughs> drain the battery. Okay, but then a battery So this is your gear uh, manual uh, gearbox. Okay, this is not the automatic version. And manual is the manual is the manual is the manual. We all know. Okay, manual fans comment below. All right, uh, you get a 12 volt charging socket over here. You get some storage over here. Okay, you get your armrest storage. These are not leather finished seats, guys. These are fabric seats. This fabric is pure. Okay, no ventilated uh, uh, seats. Ka option in this vehicle okay you get a headlight leveler and your uh sorry headlight leveler and your uh, headlight function over here all right you uh, get uh, basically your traction control button is integrated in the touch screen itself okay so there's no problem over there in the slave also and in the waters also all are integrated in the touch screen itself okay so get some carbon fiber treatment over here finished in silver hard plastic see ye nahi dabra guys if you've seen my Vortus wala video, this wala dab tha and it's very solid, okay? This one is very solid. I don't know why Vortus wala dab tha. But anyway, okay, there is no piano black treatment over here, which I like. Okay, I like it simple and sober. This is my opinion. What do you guys think? You can let me know. Auto dimming, uh, no, manually dimming IRVM in this, okay? But it is frame, it, it's almost frameless, guys. It looks so good. You have to look for it, okay? So, LED light treatment, let's see. Uh, LED light. This is your LED light treatment, guys. Finished in white. Same, 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 same car. Okay, <laughs> you vanity mirror for the co-driver. Uh, no vanity mirror over here. No ticket holder over here, as we have in the Slavia. ORVMs are the same. They're pretty big, also. And uh, you get storage over here. Two cup holders. Storage I've already shown you. Need the armrest. Okay, storage over here. I've already shown you. Storage over there as well. You can. It's big enough. You can store what bottles and your knickknacks. Same car. Nothing different. Okay. You get your tweeter treatments. One, two. Three, four, four speakers in total. Okay, six speakers setup here. Is me all right? And uh, that's about it from the front, guys. It's a tall car, guys. Also, it's very uh, the view over here is very good. Okay, let me just adjust my driving position. And yes, my driving position has been adjusted. The view when it comes to driving, you are going to enjoy it because you sit really high in this car. Okay, because of course it is a, a crossover. Okay, let's not call it an SUV. <laughs> It's a crossover and it's a tall car, okay. So, the view when it comes to driving is, of course, going to be next level. Steering feel is really great, leather app steering wheel, as you can see, okay. Volkswagen logo finished over here. This is for your music uh, track changing volume up and down function over here. This is your voice command. This is your uh, toggling the MID. This is uh, to select the options, okay. You go left and right over here and to press OK and select those options. You go back to view and you can toggle that as well, okay. So, and this is for toggling your distance, economy and everything. And guys, you don't even get a push button start in this. You get your uh, classic vehicle key over here. Okay. I forgot how to use it. Because I've been using push button start. No, no, I'm joking. But yeah, you get your, you know, classic old school vehicle key. You don't get a push button start cost cutting. Kiya. But you guys let me know. Do you like push button start or do you like 
द क्लासिक ओल्ड स्कूल की कॉमेंट्स कुछ भी नहीं एक्सप्लोर करने को सनरूप भी नहीं है इसमें सो दिस इज आई वन वेरियंट बिलो द टॉप लाइन ओके सो इट गेट्स अ लॉट ऑफ बेल्स एंड वेसल्स बट नॉट ऑल ऑफ दम ऑल राइट सो लेट्स गेट टू द बैक सीट द रेयर स्पेस and explore over there entering the rear space guys is very easy to enter no difficulty whatsoever closing the door and it's a heavy solid door five star guys five star mila safety mein isko okay uh, and over here you get your ac vent design over here you get two usb c sockets okay at the back uh, you have your speaker place over there and over here okay uh, and uh, you get your armrest okay see this finish in fabric guys aap dekh hi sakte ho You get twin cup holders over here. Armrest is very comfortable. आराम से बैठ सकते हो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यू गेट हम थोड़ा सा ओवर हियर सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ डायमेंशन गाइज इज द सेम प्लेटफॉर्म इट इज ओनली सेंटीमीटर मोर देन द स्लाविया और द वर्टस ओके सो नॉट अ बिग डिफरेंस बट थ्री पीपल विल बी फेली कम्फर्टेबल विच आव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन माई वर्टस वीडियो यू कैन गो एंड चेक दैट आउट ओवर हियर ऑल राइट एंड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू you know check out the kushak videos as well i have all my kushak videos the normal one the matte edition and the lava blue on my channel you can go and check those out as well and you will get an idea of the differences between these two vehicles the tygoon and the kushak okay so uh, because i've explored this car so many times okay it just doesn't <laughs> make sense to you know it just doesn't make sense to keep on and on talking about them because just the minor differences that we want to see that's all we are going to see and those minor differences also are not a very big difference okay so see the dash guys what do you think how premium it looks to you let me know your thoughts in the comments below okay you get your cable light placement over here finished in leds you get a hook and your grab handle hook and your grab handle no led placement over here all right you get your isofix points you get a three point seat belt as well because we get all three headrest over here so that's pretty neat okay and that's about it this is your Volkswagen Tiguan Highland variant guys the 1 liter TSI let's get outside the car and come to the video so guys this is my video of the Volkswagen Tiguan Highland variant okay uh, yes in terms of features uh, it is you know you cannot compare it with the likes of Creta Seltos and the Elevate okay because it does offer more features but in terms of driving dynamics this 1 liter TSI engine has no match okay uh, and uh, in terms of safety in terms of the build quality this car you know in this segment has no match okay because it is built like a tank okay and once you do drive it you will understand how it feels and why to go for a Volkswagen rather than the their counterparts all right so this was my video of the Volkswagen Tiguan Highline variant i've done a lot of videos on Kushak you can go and check them out below and if you want to see differences you can easily understand those differences as well this was my first video of the Volkswagen Tiguan on my channel all right thank you so much for joining me in this video guys uh, i really appreciate your support okay and uh, do like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads i will see you guys in the next one till then take care and stay safe turbo rivers bye bye